host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Delhi Township, Ohio, and the title reads, Delhi Police, employee of vape shop, fatally shot person who broke in. Now, before we get into this, guys, let us first, if you can, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Remember, we're still on that road to a thousand subscribers. And I, I know that we can get there with your help. And feel free, hit me on mine, Twitter, Truth Social, all that jazz. And uh, let us begin. Vape shop leads to a deadly shooting in Delhi Township. Police say an employee at that store shot that man. Thanks so much for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan is live outside that vape shop in Delhi for us. Andrew, what else do we know about what happened? Well, police think the suspect who was shot and killed apparently inside that store wasn't alone. The police chief says there are reports there could have been four or five other people inside at the time. Now, if you take a look at what is left of the scene right now, the front door is all boarded up and there's still some shattered glass on the pavement. This is what it looks like through the windows of VIP Smoke Shop on Delhi Road, a shattered glass display case. Hi, this is 911. Hello. Friday around 1.40 a.m. when the store was closed. Somebody broke on the store and uh, somebody got shot. Do you know who shot him? My walker. By the time officers arrived, front window is shattered, black male laying on the ground. The alleged intruder, already deceased. The employee is in the back. Secure the employee. I asked Delhi Police Chief Jeff Braun whether the employee could face charges. We go through all the evidence, we look at everything, we, we meet with the prosecutor, and obviously determine which direction, if any, we're going to go. He says, Guys, now before we get to what the rest of the police officer says and what conclusion may have come from this, guys, what we are seeing and we are continuing to see it is people who are employees, whether they be clerks, cashiers, whatever it may be, we are finding the case that they are armed, okay? Criminals, I wonder, if you're a very smart criminal, you would have to read the news. You'd have to take a temperature of the public. You know, and I don't know if people case or some of these criminals case individuals, shops, businesses to find out who's armed, who isn't, because... This could very well be your life. And if you are going to result or you are going to default to a life of crime, you have to understand people may shoot you. So I wonder if criminals ever think about this. But if we go back to the self-defender, the employee, we are finding that majority of them are being or are making the decision to be armed. I've said it a while back ago. I've said it many times. I think if you are in an area where you are dealing with a mass amount of people coming in, coming out, day in and day out, okay, a restaurant would be a place, an example, a uh, uh, grocery store, clothing store, the mall, all these places. It behooves you to be armed. You have no idea who's going to walk into that store, shop, wherever you are working. And thank goodness for this employee, he was able to take out his firearm and shoot this joker and do so in, I believe, self-defense. Now, they have to do an investigation, but let's hear what the rest of this uh, police officer has to say. He didn't know how many shots were fired. There are big things at stake here, you know. These are their life and death situations. While police say it's too early to tell whether the stand your ground law applies to this case, the Ohio law was changed back in 2021. If someone is attacked, but they can easily escape, 
um, they can use force against their attacker, even if the, it's not necessary. Um, so that's the change in the law. We don't know whether the suspects were armed. The Delhi chief says this is an isolated incident. There's no reason for people to be scared to go up in the business district or anything like that. Again, the name. Um, so that's the chain against their attacker. Guys, let's hear again what she has to say, okay? It's important to understand the law, and I do want to make sure that everybody understands this. So let's hear what she has to say. This is a change in the law for Ohio. The law was changed back in 2021. If someone is attacked, but they can easily escape, um, they can use force against their attacker, even if it's not necessary. Um, so that's the change in the law. We don't know whether the suspects were armed. The Delhi chief says this is an isolated incident. There's no reason for people to be scared to go up in the business district or anything like that. Again, the name of the victim who was also the intruder has not yet been released. In Delhi Township, Andrew WCPO. Now, if you hear what he said, and we'll address, we'll address what the lady has said too, is that he wasn't an intruder, folks. He wasn't supposed to be there, okay? Attempting to break into the store, and they shot him. We don't celebrate death here, but we absolutely defend the ability to protect yourself, right? And this lady has made it very clear. Even if this employee could have gotten away, homeboy was in the wrong and she was able, that person was able to use deadly force. You are allowed to use force. There is such a thing. Um, this sounds like stand your ground, but I believe w w of what she is saying now, 2021, they've changed the law, but it sounds like you can still use force to protect yourself. Okay, and I believe that's the way it should be. Guys, you know what I say at the end of these videos, and I mean it. Good people have guns. Good people should always have guns. Because if good people do nothing, there will be no good guys. 